Well, hello everybody, how we doing? This is the Random Name 951, and I want to bring you a review on the, this is the L2R2 um, PS Vita 1000 cover. And just to show you, this is L2R2 grip cover for PS Vita. This is what the box looks like. This is a product I bought overseas from China. You'll probably, I bought it off eBay. You'll probably see some available in the U.S. That's because the people already bought them from China and imported them, and now are jacking the prices so you know they can make some profit business as usual so what you get and let me show you real quick the um the seller let me try to flash sorry guys so here it is right here the guy's name is top motorcycle 16 it was from china and i bought two different variants uh basically just different colors we got the white which is the one you see there and I also got the black or piano black. And um, this was from China, Hong Kong, Taiwan. So basically China. And they were, I bought two. So I got a little discount making it like 38 bucks versus 40 or something. Um, and then I'll show you real quick. This is the uh, black version. And for $38.59, you get both the shell and the L3 R3 attachment. I know the American sellers... Um, they have this for about 35 bucks and then this is another 20 bucks almost so um, I will say I'll tell you save yourself some money um, you know it's worth the wait it took about maybe under 20 days to get this ship from again China over here to the States I live in California and uh, it wasn't too bad so let's get started we'll see you see how it looks the case is very nice it covers and protects most if not all the Vita and only has the stuff um, you know exposed that needs to be um, access such as the home button the start select the uh, analog sticks the speaker grills d-pad buttons camera front camera um, you also got access to your charging port easily easily I have already tested it there is no um, you know, it doesn't get in the way or anything. The case itself. Um, headphone jack. You even have access to your PS Vita memory card. As well as being able to still um, have a little strap. Um, and then on top you have access to all your buttons. Including your L and R. Um, the Vita uh, game slot. Power buttons. Volume buttons. And as well as your uh, front camera and your rear touchpad. And you can see here with the case, you actually have the addition of an L2 and R2 button. And how that works is um, inside the case, about right here. Uh, I think, yeah, it's about maybe right here or something. Um, when you engage these buttons, there's a little piece of uh, like rubber that touches against the touchpad. And it registers as touch for the L2 or R2, depending what triggers you uh, pull. Then again, this also comes with your purchase if you do buy from that seller I showed you. And this allows you to also access your L3, R3 buttons. How this works, you might have seen from other reviewers, you have to peel off the sticker or this, uh, there's like a cover on there you can see. Peel that off. And you essentially all you do is just stick it on to what's missing back here. And there you go. And you have a uh, working L3, R3. And you can see I didn't have it seated right, that's why I was kind of moving around. And uh, it's it's a nice fit. And uh, yeah. And I'm not going to install that on right now. That's more like, I would say, more useful if you're really taking advantage of remote play. Which I do play remote play here and there. But the L3R3 is more like if you're playing first person shooters, having to run, crouch. Um, and then even then you could rewire your buttons to make it um, optional for other stuff. But, yeah, so that's nice that that's included, and I might install it down the road, but right now I'm not looking to do it because on my actual Vita, it's modded, and I'm looking to mostly just play um, PS1 Classics. Um, for instance, this is Iron Hander, and uh, it's a PS1 Classic, uh, PSP games, PS Vita, and also, like, emulation, so... What I'm going to do is going to actually um, do some gameplay and showing you how this feels, not feels, yeah, 
showing you how like it performs while I'm using it. You can see it almost has a controller like a resemblance with these little legs that come out. And uh, it's it's really nice. I just love the fit and finish of the white on white. The actual case itself, um, it feels cheap. Don't get me wrong, it is a it is a bit cheap. But think of it this way: it's a forty dollar case as well as a grip. So if, if you know sometimes we have accidents, if you do drop your Vita on tile, maybe um, asphalt or something, some sort of hard surface from about four or five feet. Um, this case is definitely going to break, in my opinion. You can see the hinges are on top. They look pretty weak. It doesn't take much for that to fall on something hard, and bam, those are done. Um, and then the little tabs that snap into place to hold the front um, cover over the Vita. Um, all it takes is one, and then, you know, it's it's pretty much busted, in my opinion. It won't, it won't hold correctly. Um, but nonetheless, um, it's think of it as a forty dollar investment. You're protecting your, who knows, hundred dollar, maybe two hundred fifty dollar Vita if you buy it at lunch, and um, you know you can always buy another case for forty bucks. But do you really want to spend another hundred bucks, hundred fifty bucks for you know another Vita? So think of it not only as a grip, but as some sort of protective case. Again, it's not going to be a hundred percent because if it falls face flat on that surface. Um, there is debris that could cause some sort of damage or major scratching to the screen but it gives you some sort of sense of mind as well as giving you more comfortability in, uh, in playing and enjoying your Vita more so I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to get some sort of stand so I can show you some gameplay of me using it so I'll be back alright ladies and gentlemen we are back and here we can see I have the Vita in my hand with the case and what I like about this case is with these little legs attached now usually when you hold the Vita you're holding like this and it's very uncomfortable after about maybe 45 minutes to an hour of you know really playing um, your Vita and you start to feel at least for me I start to feel pain around you know about the, not really the palm but around right here where the knuckles would be um, I guess you know right here right here in the hand and that's because you know I'm having to grip the Vita like this and it's just, you know, you're holding it, it's just not, it's not feeling right. So with this, you get a little bit extra um, support with these little legs. You're able to wrap your uh, bottom fingers, and it's, it almost gives the uh, the feel of uh, playing on a controller. So let's get into this. So I'm going to show you that the R2 and L2 buttons are working. So on this game... L2 reduces my thruster speed, meaning um, you can see how I'm moving pretty quick. So L2 reduces that. You can see it, it makes it uh, makes it slower for me. So you, if you want to make a bit more precise movements in this game, because this game requires for a quick reaction time. Sometimes you know having boosters all the way up, just you can't really control or um, you know make precise movements like you would want to. So again, L2, slow it down, then R2, speed it up, you can see my boosters are, are uh, engaged to go quicker. And again, if you guys never played this game, it's called Iron Hander, it's on the PS1 and it's a damn good game, it's a side-scrolling shooter as you can see, and uh, it's really cool, you just go around running and gunning, um, passing levels as you go. And in this case, you know, um, there's, there's quite a bit of levels you have to go through. It's, it's a pretty long game. I would say, you know, easily over, whew, I would say like two, two hours of good gameplay, maybe three. Um, that's if you're like good and able to speed run it. Um, but realistically, this game is really tough and takes quite a bit of tries to even uh, get to certain parts of the game. Okay. And again, I, it's really, even though it looks pretty awkward and it kind of is holding the controller, I mean the Vita like this, with these little bottom feet, it, it makes it um, bearable. If I were doing this without the, um, the case, this would be a lot tougher. 
and I almost put it down. <laughs> put the shotgun right to my dome. Yeah, if you guys are wondering, I'm trying to shoot the bottom base of him because you actually unlock his, not a secret, but an extra boss. However, if I, however, if I don't do it quick enough, I'll end up uh, missing out. Come on. See, this game is real fast paced and it runs really well on the. Uh... Oh, shit. Well, I hope oh, that was enough to be able to pass it, but it's probably going to make me fight him again. Yep. Yeah, you can see this game is really fast paced and you have to have. Uh... Just be focused. I got sloppy at the end and I, he got me. He got me good. You can see those little blue dots are like little, uh, um, just like bullets are shooting at me. And if even if one hits me directly or something, it's a uh, kind of game over. So let's try this again. But yeah, like I said, um, this grip is really good. It feels good in the hand. I'm able to comfortably um, hold my Vita in this position. Uh, my right hand is feeling a little uh, awkward because of how I have to hold it this way, but it's not killing me. The only reason I am holding it because I want to show you guys gameplay of using this. And you can see, you know, um, the uh, the audio isn't really affected or nothing like that from uh, the case or anything. Um, accessing the buttons and using them isn't affected and hindering uh, me from, you know, playing. I feel like I can play more aggressive because I'm able to get a better grip on the Vita. So I don't have to worry about, um, that. nice try. Um, you know, dropping it or anything like that. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm gonna pause the, the video right about here. Oh shit. Well, let me get past this part because I don't want to die quite yet. And again, this game is called Iron Hunter. It's a kick-ass game. And yeah, I'm gonna pause it there because that's some breathing room. So yeah, guys, that is the uh, L2 R2 um, PS Video 1000 grip cover. So if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave me a message in the comment section. I'll be sure to reply to you guys back, let you know the verdict. As far as buying this, I highly recommend buying it not only as a uh, more ergonomic case for your Vita, but also as some sort of protection for your Vita as well to prevent, um, you know, protect from scratches. The 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 plastic molding is made to where it won't do damage to your Vita as far as scratches and such. Um, and honestly, the matte color just looks so clean on the white. It looks just as good in the black as well. The only downside with the black is since, you know, it is um, just like cars. You know, if it gets scratched, um, the, the signs of wear are more easily visible on the black. So that's the only downside. But I mean, man, this thing is pretty damn cool the buttons are also metallic they have that metallic plastic look going on so hope you guys enjoyed the video and again until next time take care guys